six. first visit here I saw the potential of using this site as a place where we could show where land, water, atmosphere meet together. This is a research experience for undergraduates. The idea is that the students come together and we're studying the earth system from the vantage point of surf, turf above the earth and how it fits together. Active participants rather than what? Passive recipients. So that's what we're about, okay? So this is a a brand new relationship we're building with NASA and for the students, it's that experiential learning piece that uh, they're gonna spend a whole summer being immersed in how research works. That's an experience that most college students, particularly at the undergraduate level, just never get to have. It's been a super incredible opportunity to meet NASA scientists and be able to make those connections, especially in early career. I think that this experience has definitely emphasized the importance of getting hands-on. So being able to like touch that and really see exactly what we're doing and seeing where the soils that this methane and CO2 is coming from and the ecosystem that we're studying has been vital to my understanding of everything that we're doing here. And then we're rotating and then you have to tell the operator of the computer where she's at. One of the things that we're always looking for is the next generation to mentor, develop, engage, retain, attract, recruit, the next generation of Earth system scientists. The changes that we are seeing in climate uh, and the impact that has especially, I would say, that impacts underrepresented minorities and those who live in urban environments. So I think we are truly looking forward to the opportunity where VCU, along with other partner institutions, can collaborate with NASA and EPA to address some of these challenges. Just being able to apply all of those learnings and kind of bring all of the pieces together, I think, is unparalleled and you can't get that anywhere else. We're getting to build a relationship with an important federal agency from the ground up. And the fact that the Rice River Center has been sort of the, the front door to, to that relationship, I think has worked out really, really well.